Hi students, in today's video, we will explain exactly how McEwen University is laid out so you can become a pro at navigating the campus. That's awesome! I have so many questions. For starters, I always get so confused where my classrooms are. There is a super easy hack for figuring out where your classroom is. The first number is the building your lecture is held in. The second number is the floor your class is found on in that building. The rest of the number is your class number. The SAMU building rooms are the only ones without the building number prefacing it. All rooms here begin with SA and follow the same formatting for floor and room number. Buildings 5, 6, and 7 have their classrooms located on either side of the building. Rooms numbered 1 through 49 are located on the south side of the building, while rooms numbered 50 and up are located on the north side. Okay, good to know. Now, if I'm in building 5 and I have a class in Allard Hall, what is the fastest way to get to my class? One awesome detail about McEwen's layout is the entire campus stretches along 104th Ave and spans seven city blocks from 105th Street to 111th Street. Each building is named after the subsequent street it is located on. To easily get across the entire campus, there is a pedway on the second floor of every building. That means it takes about 10 minutes to get from Allard Hall all the way to Building 5 without having to go outside. Phew, what a relief. I was not looking forward to going outside in the cold winter months every time I had to go to a new building. Agreed. So there is a map available online that lays out McEwen's campus and all the amenities that are found in each building. We'll quickly explain what can be found in each of the buildings, but we do recommend you take a look at the map for future reference. Building 5 found on 105th Street is closest to the McEwen LRT station. Building 6 holds the M Store, parking services, the cafeteria, and the library technical support desk. Building 7 holds the majority of student services, the registrar's office, and library services. Building 8, the Christensen Family Center for Sport and Wellness, holds our fitness areas and the security office. The SAMU building includes RBC on campus, student benefits plan office, and a bunch of other services. Building 9, the Robbins Health Learning Center, holds Robbins Food Services and other amenities. Building 11, or Allard Hall, holds theaters for school productions and events. Now I definitely feel like I can navigate McEwen's campus with confidence. Exactly. And the best part of this learning experience is that understanding the layout of McEwen will come naturally with more time spent on campus.